According to a leading Palestinian research institute, 91% of Palestinians believe that Hamas did not commit any atrocities against Israeli civilians during its October 7th attack, and a lot of other things about rape culture and other things that we probably have a real problem with in the United States. Joining me now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, what's the Biden administration thinking here? Oh, what they're thinking is uh, votes, Laura. I mean, they're thinking about they've got to win over these radicals who apparently make up their base. But here's my view on this. We don't need any more pro-Hamas radicals in this country. We just saw the videos, the images from these campuses. Why would the American taxpayer pay to bring over more of these folks? We ought to be deporting radicals and terrorists, not importing them on the American taxpayer's dime. But, Senator, we brought over over 100,000 Afghan refugees yeah. And everyone feels terrible for anyone in a war. But the idea that 100,000 Afghans, well, we promised them. I didn't promise them anything. I mean, what, they're, they're 20, maybe they're 20 or 25 interpreters who should be, you know, given, given uh, refuge in the United States. But Americans don't want this, and they don't care. They don't want this in the United States. Well, here's the other thing on the Afghans. We didn't vet them either. That's no, of the course thing. not. Yeah, we're I not going to vet the, 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 the Middle exactly. Eastern countries don't want the, uh, the Gazans, exactly. right? They're not, they're not welcoming them exactly. in Egypt and other countries. They don't want them. And there's a reason for that. We didn't vet the Afghanis. We're not going to vet any of these Palestinians. I mean, it's just throwing open the door to terrorists. You showed the statistics. 90-plus percent of Palestinians think that uh, this, the attacks on, on Israel were a good thing. I mean, do we really want to import more folks who want to kill Israelis, kill Jews, kill Americans into this country, all on taxpayer-funded dime? It's just crazy. Now, a lot of chants across the nation we've heard, but in recent months, we've heard this one. Watch. And to see, think those brats at UCLA and Columbia and Fordham, once great institutions, by the way, you know, wearing the headscarves, trying to fit in with this crowd. Well, and you see where that was. I mean, Dearborn, Michigan, where some of that video was shot, this is why Biden is doing what he's doing. I mean, he's looking at votes. He's looking at electoral votes. And he's saying, man, i got to do everything I can to pander to what I guess he increasingly believes is his pro Why are they wearing space. the mask, Senator? Why, oh, why? oh, well, because, I mean, it's so important, don't you know? I mean, you've got to signal that you're virtuous and upright and righteous. I don't think that's it. Oh. I think these brats are worried about jobs in corporate well, America. they should be. That's why they have the umbrellas up. They don't want anyone to really, or, or maybe mommy and daddy. Yeah. They're not, they, they didn't pay this, pay, pay tuition for that. Well, and, and nor should they have, but here's the deal. Here's where they would really feel the pain. These people all need to be expelled because, as you say, they care about their resume more than anything no, yeah, else. Are... Expel them. Expel them. Send them to prison. Send a message. And, Laura, send in the National Guard to these campuses to protect Jewish students on campus. If it was good enough in the 1950s for Eisenhower to do, it's good enough for Biden to do. Let's make a commitment that if you are an American Jew, you'll be safe on our campuses. That would get these people's attention.